Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning. This is my son Ben and today we are tasting the Balwini 12 years double wood. Well, this is a, a real standard from the space side. Mm -hmm. It's one of the, well, the whiskies I would always recommend uh, for beginners. It's a double matured whiskey, means first in classical uh, oak cast, and then we have a finishing period of nine months in uh, old sherry casks, and this brings this sherry character and uh, fruitiness to the whiskey. I'm really excited about how, how this is going to continue because they, they changed their master distiller, I think, didn't they? Um, they David Stewart. Just, yeah, but I think he retired and got the very young woman in there, didn't, didn't he? Uh, he retired, then he came back again, <laughs> and he retired. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's still doing some mentoring. <laughs> yeah. so, and, and what's uh, particular in this bottle is there's a 25th anniversary mm -hmm. on top of this, in the band roll in, in red. And I thought it was especially for our company, <laughs> our 25th anniversary, but no. Uh, the Balvini, 12 years old, was established in 1993 when our company was founded and uh, before that there had been a 10 years of age with a cognac shaped bottle a little greenish from the glass mm -hmm. and then they moved to this new bottle with a 10 year old and that was a mixture from ex cherry casks and ex bourbon casks and then they moved forward uh, first increasing their store uh, the warehouses the storage and moved to a 12 years of age and this is the Balwini double wood, and this is the standard from the distillery now, and the 10 years old is gone for, for years and years now. Yeah, you're grinning. It's a very good whiskey. Yeah, really. I know. <laughs> I, know. I, I had it on a few Balwini events, and yeah. it, I know it's good. <laughs> what I always find really, really funny is you have a Banff, Banffshire on there, and I did two tours in, in Scotland, but when I was 16, so I was a bit of an ignorant teenager, so I didn't care where I was driving. Uh, but when I did the tour in, in Canada, the, the last thing I did was uh, go to the Banff uh, region in Canada, mm -hmm. into the National Park. It was really, really beautiful in the Rocky Mountains. And yeah, I think that came from the Scottish Banff, mm -hmm. probably. So nice region in Scotland also. The Balvini Distillery is located in Dufftown, mm -hmm. the hidden <laughs> capital of the whiskey industry. Rome was built on seven hills. Mm -hmm. Dufftown was built on seven stills. <laughs> uh, so the original capital, I think, is Elgin of the region, but uh, Dufftown is from the, uh, the, the amount of capital. whiskey <laughs> produced is the capital with now eight distilleries uh, in Dufftown. So oh, mm. a wonderful smell in the nose already. And this is the start is sweet vanilla, sherry, Oranges, juice oranges, no alcohol at all. Yeah, and um, this is the second uh, drum I have. Uh, and now the vanilla is much stronger than the beginning. In the beginning, there had been a lot of uh, orange juice and orange aroma, sweet orange aroma uh, in that, but now it's vanilla and vanilla. Mm -hmm. It's For me, I always find a lot of orange in there. It's just when you smell oh, the beautiful orange character. So if uh, this is the epiphany of uh, orange character whiskey. Also, you got a lot of juicy fruits, juicy orange and sherry and a little bit of fine oak, I would say. Plus uh, a lot of sweetness with vanilla, honey. Yeah, really nice. Mm -hmm. Soft, welcoming sweetness on my tongue, and then yeah, and then uh, a little spiciness arises. It's the oak, and uh, the orange juice is really present here, more and more, and it's full in my mouth. And this is just forty percent ABV, so this is incredible intense for such a weak or smooth whiskey. Yeah. 
really good long aftertaste warming sherry and a little nuttiness coming through and this is typical for the oloroso sherry casks mm -hmm. and there is or sherry casks at all, uh, in, in total that there is uh, yeah this nuttiness in mm -hmm. mm. with the with the whiskey in your mouth you do got this juicy juicy orange with a lot of other fruits sherry mm, nice sweet and when you when you just wait a bit there comes that nuttiness a little bit of fine oak character a little bit more intense really a very nice well balanced whiskey mm -hmm. and incredibly present or intense with the with the aromas for just the 48 percent abv whiskey mm -hmm. yeah, it's, but it's still incredibly oily and smooth as well so yeah definitely a beginner's one and this mm -hmm. is well whenever i have to suggest a whiskey to a potential buyer i say as well i need some for an, for an uncle so i said you have no idea what to what to bring as a present Belwini is just the right one mm -hmm. because it's not that intense it's complex it's full it's rewarding and it's mm. not uh, smoky, stinky, mm. uh, not sharp at all. Mm. So that's everything because the sherry is just a finish, a nine month sherry finish. And this brings this fruitiness and this little uh, uh, nuttiness to it. So a mm. wonderful dram uh, should be finished. But today, sorry, I have still one or two to go. <laughs> so this is for my health. <laughs> OK, nice. So uh, thank you very much for watching this video. If you think you have friends who might interest be interested in this video please feel free to share this video with them thank you very much and see you next time